Libra, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this Libra, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with have faith in your dreams. Libra, you're being asked to not give up, to keep going, to reestablish your belief in what it is that you're trying to achieve or create for your life. Because believing is honestly one of the, the biggest things that we can do to aid the manifestation process. Because if you don't believe Libra, then how is your guide, spirit, the universe supposed to support you in making it a reality? Have faith in your dreams. Everything is possible. It depends whether you are aligning with it or not. Right, let's go to the Oracle of the Angels, Libra, and build on this message here and now. Okay, we've got a real energy of the present moment coming through and a reminder that every decision or action, you know, that we make or take in this now moment are creating our future reality. So you're being asked to come back to your dream that you have, your outcome, your goal, and think, well, look, you know, am I moving in alignment with that? Am I being the kind of person that will be able to make that happen? Am I choosing, you know, what is required here? So in the here and now, I think there is an action, like the right action at the right time that can really bring you closer to your dream. All right, Libra, let's go to the beautiful, accurate AF tarot, my first ever round tarot deck. And we have got, oof, the shadow. Okay, that is the devil coming through right there. And it's funny because the, the devil is this energy where we feel powerless, right? Or that, you know, we're losing that hope and faith. But remember, we're not our thoughts, and I think that there is a shadow side blocking this to some extent. There might also be people in your environment that are saying, oh, well, you know, you, you, you will never be able to achieve that, or that will never happen. Just remember that we do take on the energy of the top five people that we spend time with. So come back to you. You know what's possible for you. Step back into your power here, Libra. Because, you know, things, big things can happen. And, you know, I've got the Ten of Swords here. Karmic lessons only upwards, this card says. So I really feel that maybe you're overcoming a karmic lesson, maybe, you know, of, um, let's say, reneging on your dreams or allowing that shadow to kind of override yourself here. The Ten of Swords can also be that there might be a block in the way of this dream, Libra. You know, we talked about alignment. So if your dream is, you know, having this beautiful, blessed life with a life partner and enough abundance and all of these types of things, but you might be choosing someone currently who, you know, is toxic with the shadow coming through, or maybe you have abundance dreams, but the shadow, the devil can be, but we have a lot of debt. We have a lot of you know, um, uh, like a negative money story that might need to be addressed. So what I've got is that maybe you're not completely in alignment currently with your dream and there might be a Ten of Swords ending or release to happen to really propel you upwards and onwards here. Yeah, I've got the Queen of Pentacles coming through. Again, the Capricorn energy, which the devil links to, and she's really asking you to come back to practicality to really look at where your focus is going because where your focus and your beliefs really are, that is what you are manifesting. So if you believe that this dream isn't possible, you're going to continue to uh, manifest circumstances that validate, you know, that validate that it isn't possible for you. Okay, so it's about shifting your perspective first and then aligning your actions with it in the here and now. That's what I'm getting here. Justice is here. Again, karmic balance, like you've got a lot of this energy of being the one to break a karmic cycle here, you know, maybe in your ancestral line, you know, dreams haven't been achieved and you are the one that are going places here, Libra. There might be a powerful justice call that you are needing to make, I think, around that Ten of Swords block. And by stepping beyond that, you are literally bringing karmic balance and re-establishing the faith in your dreams. So I think we have a, a block here towards them. What else do we have here? The Three of Wands. Yeah, and this is, talks about putting that behind you, right? 
making an important karmic decision here or justice justice call here that is the karmic rebalancer putting that behind you and then the three of wands is all about moving forward you know towards that dream and it really says look if you take some of that action very soon your ships will come in not meaning that you'll get to the end goal quickly but you'll start to get some evidence right of the success coming in that will only grow and expand as you continue to work this process that was spoken about and three of cups you're going to celebrate this all the threes coming through so your angel number is three 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 and that is the master creator number so your guides are reminding you libra that have faith in your dreams you are the master creator but we all have a shadow that can cause the blocks right and sometimes it can be we can be conscious of it sometimes we aren't I think there's a ten of swords ending here something that might seem initially painful but it's going to give rise to you moving forward in the direction of your dreams the queen of pentacles says you need a pl practical plan and we need to really bring conscious awareness to where your energy is going where your thoughts are going because that is you know where we manifest from make that justice call and i think very soon you will be the one who is celebrating the growth and some kind of beginnings of success starting to show up in your here and now libra so i will leave it there i hope you enjoyed this reading uh, if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances libra please do follow the first link down below to my website and uh, also don't forget to like, share, uh, please uh, hit um, subscribe if you enjoy these readings and drop me a comment as well. I would be really grateful for that. And I'll see you back here in two days time, Libra, for your weekly tarot reading. Sending love and magic. Bye for now.